All right, first off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekach Badash, the water Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, for allowing me to do another video through her spirit, the water Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving us his truth, those worms, double honors to our apostles, elders at Great Millstone, and salutations and blessings to the whole elect. And it's going to be a video based on, it's 2020, and you're still having our people calling themselves black, not black. That shit, that shit is a, a, a annoying stigma that's put upon us, man. The scriptures say we'll be called proverbs and byword. We're not fucking black people, god damn it. Ain't no black people on this fucking planet at that. People are, are, are different shades of brown. We we are the Israelites, man. We're not fucking African American. Not no no Negroes. We are the Israelites, man. My four my forefathers ain't black people, man. My, my forefathers are Israelites, man. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which Jacob's name was changed unto Israel and to his sons, which which became the, the twelve tribes of Israel from Judah all the way to Issachar. That's who we are, man. We not no fucking black people. We not no fucking Mexicans. We not no goddamn Native Americans. Stop calling yourself that, man. Stop calling yourself black people, man. Black culture is death, man. The so-called white man came up with black, Latino, and Native American culture, goddammit. Your culture is being an Israelite. Not no fucking black person, man. It's Salakia for the custom, but man, that that is very it's irksome to hear that, man. Just always hearing but the word black means void of light, man. Opposite of white. Hey, we're white, man. We're holy. The saints of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah holy before his eyes if we be part of that elect. Holy, sanctified, pure. We not no black void of light. We are the light, man. Well through the through the Lord Yahweh Shah, we carry we we carry uh the, the light. We have the light, which is Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah. We're not we're not in darkness. We're not black. That's a... This shirt is black, god damn it. This shirt is does not match the got the same exact skin. This shirt does not match my my uh, skin color. It matches my hair. <laughs> but it doesn't match the skin color. If you can't we're not even shouldn't even be called that because no one's black. And it's not about colors, just giving a example, man. It's an example. So I'm gonna get all fucking weird about it. But this is, I'm going to grab uh, Deuteronomy 28. I'm going to grab, I believe it's Numbers 17. This is Deuteronomy 28. And where is it? Where is it? Consumption. Salah, yeah, I want to find it real quick. Might be towards the end, actually. This is Proverbs 28 and 37. And that, and, and thou shalt, and thou, and thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. If you don't know what those words mean, it's basically not. It's like uh, I just I just get in a blue letter real quick. What it means? I have it on this phone. I don't actually, but it's basically you being called something else than what you actually are—a proverb and a byword. Among all the nations that. Among among all the nations where the Lord shall lead lead thee, so unto all these nations we are we're not known as Israelites, man. We're known as Black people. We're known as uh, uh, Latinos. We're known as Mexicans, Native Americans, uh, 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 Seminole Indians. We're not known as the children of Israel. We're not known. We're not known amongst the nations as as this great ones, peop, great great people. When people look at a, a Negro, they think somebody gonna rob them, man. Somebody gonna gonna jack they 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 precious purse that they have. 
Or they think of Mexican, all they think of as a hard worker, man. We're more than that, man. We're more than some fucking hard working spicks and some and some tomahawk throwing ass Native Americans and some and some what they like to say lazy Negroes. Hey, we're the children of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, man. And you and our people need to start proclaiming that. You need to proclaim that you're an Israelite. Our people need to stop calling themselves black, man. We're in a year of prophecy, man. In a year of uh, prophecy is our people still waking up, man. And really, this is only for the elect, the elect who who's out there who who needs to hear this. We're not black, man. And, and just to say this, if you fill out a job application, don't put Israelite because we ain't can't do it. But hey, inwardly. You should know that we're Israelites, man, and proclaim it through 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 the opportunities that you have, through videos, through going out there on the highways and byways. We not and through through your day to day walk, uh, walking upright, upright and in, in righteousness as an Israelite is supposed to be. This is a uh, Numbers twenty three and verse verse uh eight. How shall I curse whom Yahweh have, have not cursed? Or how shall I defy whom Yahweh have not defied? For from the top of the rocks I, I see, and from the hill I, I behold, lo, the people shall dwell alone and shall be and shall not be reckoned among the nations. And right now we're not reckoned amongst the nations, man. We're not reckoned or knowledge as the children of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. But soon, a hey, just like the scriptures say, the Lord Yahweh by Shemiah Shai will give us fame in a in la, in a land where we have been put to shame. I don't I don't like being called black man. That shit bothers me to to my core because we all know what it means. We all know what it means. You should be a hey, like what's it say? What is the advantage of being a, a Jew? Actually, I'll grab that. That's actually the 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 head of the camp favorite. Scripture, the one of them that he that he brings out. This is Romans three and verse one. What advantage then have the Jew, or what advantage have the Israelites, or what profit is a, is there of circumcision? Much every way, chiefly because that unto them were committed the oracles of Yahweh. For what if some <clears throat> for what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh without effect? Yahweh forbid. They let Yahweh be true, but every man a liar, as it as it is written, that that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. But what is what is verse say? Much in every way. So you should be happy, man. You should be you should be uh glad to be an Israelite. Because that's what at the end of the day, that's what every nation on this planet wants to be man they want to be israelites they want to be partakers of the promises that are coming unto unto us but they're not but they're not but unto our people the ones who the promise are actually for you deny it you you cast it off as it's not you that's why the scriptures say you like your father the devil man because you cast off your blessing you cast off what was what's rightly unto you being the children of yahweh by shemiah shah you're supposed to be happy to be Israelite, man, because we're the only ones who Yahweh by Shemiah Shai are not into, un, un, unto. But our people are just happy to be black, black power, uh, Native American power, or, or fucking Lat Latino power, Mexican Pride Month, or and yeah, oh yeah, I forgot that black history. We don't. I don't want no Black History Month, man. We not black. We're Israelites, man, and the world belongs unto us. But right now, hey, right now it is it's not it's not under our authority, but soon it will be through through our power. Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai establishing us throughout the earth. And this is uh Baruch three and verse and verse uh fourteen. Learn where is wisdom, where is where is strength, where is understanding, that thou mayest know also where is the length of days and life. Where is the light of the eye and peace? Who have found out her place 
or who have come in, into her treasures? Where are the princes of the heathen? Uh, where where are the princes of the heathen become and such as rule the beasts upon the earth? They that they that had their pastimes with the fowls of the air, and they that of uh, and they that her hoarded hoarded up silver and gold wherein men trust and 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 made no end their getting for the for they wrought in silver were were so careful and whose work are un, are unsearchable they are vanished and gone down to the grave and others are come up in their stead because you did all that to get all these riches you chasing after money like hey, like uh Kobe <laughs> and and eventually what happens is you die that was going unto the princes of the, the of these heathens but our people do that same thing man they do that same thing they follow after the ways of the heathen they think that life is just chase after money and they don't want to seek you out by Shemel shot they want to do their own thing verse 20 young men have young men have seen light and dwelled upon the earth but but the way of knowledge have have they not known and these people have not known the ways of knowledge man and the ways of knowledge have been open unto 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 us through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai but this was uh and the kingdom is going to be for all Israel but you see as this scripture is saying right now young young men have seen light and dwelled upon the earth but the way of knowledge have they not known? And people still have not known the way of knowledge, man. People still don't know the ways of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. And one key thing of, of not knowing uh, the ways of knowledge is knowing who you are, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in 2020 still don't know who the fuck you are, man. And some of you have seen the truth and still deny it. You still deny the fact that you're Israelites. My sister, uh... I asked me one day, she she asked me about uh, the truth. I said, she said something about who, uh, something along the lines of Israelites. I said, everybody in this room right now is Israelites. I said, it's not, it's not, it's not a, uh, just a belief. It's a bloodline, man. It's a culture. I said, you Israelite. I said, everybody sitting in here right now is Israelite. But our people don't know that, man. Our people still don't know the ways of knowledge, man. They still deny it. They still put it, they put it far behind them. So what do they take on? Black culture. Black culture is death, man. That shit has done nothing for our people. What has Martin Luther King done to, for our people? Put us closer onto our enemy so he can slay us? So he can kill us? So he can just treat us like shit? And our people still try to be friendless men to, to, to little, so little boys and white White boys and, and white girls and, and black boys can hold hands for what? They are an enemy, man. They are blood born enemy. And they and they don't want to hold our hand, man. But our people are still searching and stretching after their hand. They don't and they don't want nothing to do with y'all, man. It's it's honestly it's sad, man. It's a sad story. <laughs> verse verse twenty one. Nor understand the path thereof, nor laid hold of it. Their children were were fat off. Their children were far off from the, from that way. It have not been heard of heard of heard of in uh, Can, uh, Canaan. Neither have it been seen in in the the uh, the men the men. Which is probably teeming. The the Agarines that seek wisdom upon the earth, the merchants of Moraine of the and of the Teman, or uh, the the men, which is probably Teman, the author of fables, <laughs> Teman, the author of fables, Esau podcast, and 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 the author of fables and the searchers search searchers out of understanding none of these have known the way of wisdom or remember her path O israel 
how great is the house of Yahweh, and how large is the place of his of his possession. Great and great and have none in high and unmeasurable. And I'm a and I'm gonna jump to verse 30, 36. He hath found out the way of knowledge and have given it unto Jacob his servant and uh, and and to Israel his beloved. Afterwards did did he show himself himself upon the earth and can converse with men. And Yahweh Shemiel Shah has showed his ways unto us, man. He showed his great mercies and great power unto us. That's why it says, Give not thy honor unto another. Uh, Baruch 4 and verse 6. Uh, Baruch 4 and like 6. Oh, Baruch 4 and verse 3. Give not thy honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. And that's what all these nations want, man. They want to be us, man. They want to be the Israelites. And our people don't want nothing to do with their own culture, man. That's why you ask Esau. That's why the Lord Yahweh Shai himself said, you are of your father the devil, and the lust of him you, you would do. Because you cast off your birthright. You cast off just like Esau. I remember in Chicago, I was uh, camping with the, the brothers. And I remember uh, Shapaya, uh said unto some young Jakes, that I remember they was holding Nike bags. One, I, I they had never remember what they had on. But he said unto him, uh, and Mathafia standing next uh, next to him, said unto him, uh, oh, y'all Israelites. He said, man, we don't care. And kept walking up down the street, man. That's why you niggas gonna die, man. And that's why the Lord's not gonna care when he kill you niggas. When the Lord Yahweh by Shem Shai sends these deaf angels down, man, he's not gonna care. Because you niggas wanna stay in black culture, you wanna stay being niggas, you wanna stay being Latinos, you wanna stay being Native Americans. And you know what's gonna happen to you? Your ways is gonna fall upon you, and death is gonna come for you. Death is gonna be upon those that wanna be black, Native Americans, Latinos. You want to be something in which you're not? The Lord's going to give you unto that, man. And he's going to let the sword take you. And this is this is a message, man. This is a warning. Stop doing that shit, man. We're not black. We're not Latinos. We're not Native Americans, man. We are the children of Yahweh by Shem Shai and start fucking acting like it, man. We are a royal people, a royal priesthood, man. Before the eyes of Yahweh by Shem Shai, stop fucking acting like niggas, man. Monkeys. Like the brother Malak said, you fucking monkeys, man. Stop acting like that. We are the people of Yahweh by Shem Shai. When these nations looked at us, man, they seen a royal, prince, princely, kingly nation, man. When you read Daniel's 1, I shall grab and, and close off on that. This is Daniel's 1 and verse 4. Fucking all the niggas praise for fucking dribbling a basketball up the court, man. Throwing a football, a pigskin, which you're not even supposed to be doing. Doing all the doing all this fucking entertainment, man. All this entertainment. That's all Jake good for is fucking entertainment, man. Don't want to come to a realization that they greater than that. So what every nigga wanna do? What what's every nigga's aspiration? To be a basketball player, to be a rapper. Issachar to be to be a the best soccer player, uh the fucking Simeon to be the be the world's best uh baseball player or soccer player the, either either one. This is uh Daniel's one in verse four. Well, I'll start at three. And the king spake unto uh as as for Nas, the master of his eunuch eunuchs that that. That he should bring a certain of the children of Israel and and the king's seed and of the priests, children of whom was no blemish, but well favored and skillful in all wisdom and cunning and in and knowledge and understanding, science, which is knowledge, and so su in such in such as had ability in the in them to stand in the king's place in whom they might teach the teach the learning 
of the tongue of the Chal Chaldeans, man. So he wasn't just no fucking niggas, man. Being good at playing basketball, man. It was fucking so sad a fucking basketball player died, man. Who cares? Who really cares? But, man, that's the point, man. I was, I was about to get in an argument with somebody about that. But I said, you know what? Forget it. I'm just doing a video on it. Because <laughs> hey, it's going to edify more people than it's going to edify the person I was about to argue with. It would have been a waste of time arguing with them. But hey, this will be for the edification of the brothers. We are the Israelites, man. And, and it's time to start acting like it. We not niggas, we not spicks, and we not Uncle Tomahawks, man. We are the children of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And, and, and stand up in righteousness for that. And stand up for our power, man. Our power, Yahweh, man. Stand up for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and the blessings which he's given unto us. Solely unto us, man. But with that, Lord, I hope it was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. By Shem Rakakwadash. The Wadi Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai for allowing me to do another video of Third Spirit. The Wadi Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai for giving us this truth of worms. Double honor to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone. And salutation and blessings to the whole full life. Shalom.